Hey guys, I'm Joseph Williams. Welcome to my home music studio. I wanted to share with you a little bit about my album and about the concept of You Are Me. I decided to name my album You Are Me uh, just based on my own growth as a person and, and that's what my album is about. I record and uh, I produced, uh, sang, did the drums, guitar, did everything on it. So I've been doing this since I was 14, so I'm now 26. But um, the first source I wanted to give you was, uh, I'm going to give two documentaries, just short little clips that I found really profound, and they'll kind of point, you know, to, to this concept that you are me. I get, I get quite a few questions, uh, what does that mean, or how can that be, I'm, I surf and you don't, you know, and, and so some of these sources will, will point to that. And also, as, uh, as a gift for your friendship and watching this video, I'm Offering, I'm giving a free download link uh, for the song that I released uh, as a single on iTunes entitled You Are Me. And um, it's a very uh, personal song, and I think you'll enjoy it as well. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, just visit me at faintthepleasing.com, and the link will be available there for a free download. And then the rest of my albums there to listen to and, and purchase via iTunes um, if you would like. So I am Joseph Williams, but I, I go under the band name Faint the Pleasing, so that is me. So without further ado, the first uh, excerpt or piece of knowledge I wanted to share is from Eckhart Tolle. Uh, I've been diving into some of his stuff uh, lately, really powerful guy, good stuff. But uh, here's his first clip from uh, one of his speeches in San Diego. Once you know who you are, you know your own essence, and you know the essence in every other form, life form, because you are one in your essence with every other life form. And then you look at the flower and recognize your own essence in the flower. And then you look at it cat and recognize your own essence in the cat. And then you look at another human being and you may have to pierce through layers of <laughs> mental <laughs> ego stories, mental noise, the veil, and you pierce through it just stay alert and you look, you, you can ignore the story and all that. You look and then you know the essence of that human being is who you are. You know every life form as yourself. All right, this uh, second documentary clip I wanted to share with you, just a couple minutes. Uh, it's a PBS documentary called Buddha. Uh, I personally don't like to claim any type of religion or, or thought system or anything, but um, I do like to find similarities in them. And I, I find that I have more friends if I'm able to communicate with you know, everybody, from, no matter what they think. So without further ado, here is uh, Buddha. One great taproot of Buddhism is compassion which is the deep affection that we feel for everything because we're all in it together, be it other human beings, other animals, the planet as a whole, the creatures of this planet, the trees and rivers of this planet. Everything is connected. It was a beautiful day. His mind drifted. As if by instinct, he crossed his legs in the yoga pose of meditation. And the natural world paid him homage. As the sun moved through the sky, the shadow shifted but the shadow of the rose apple tree where he sat remained still. He felt a sense of pure joy. The joy that he found is in 
the world that is already broken. It's in this transitory world that we're all a part of. And the fabric of this world, despite the fact that it can seem so horrible, the underlying fabric of this world actually is that joy that he recovered. That was his great insight. But he says, I can't sustain a feeling of joy like this if I don't take any food, so I better eat something. And then at that moment, a village maiden mysteriously appears carrying a bowl of rice porridge. And she said to him, here, eat. That moment of generosity and release, when he accepted the rice, was a decision towards life. It was what in uh, the Christian tradition might be called grace, that you cannot do it completely on your own. And in Christianity, the grace comes from the divine. In the story of the Buddha, the grace comes from the ordinary kind heart of a girl who sees somebody starving and says, eat. All right, hopefully that sheds some light on this You Are Me concept. And um, visit me at faintthepleasing.com to get your free link download. And keep in touch with me on Facebook. I'm always doing my best to share information, have good conversations about this kind of stuff, and just grow with people. So uh, thank you for your friendship, and uh, enjoy the music. You Are Me. To your eyes I see mirror images of me They seem to be nothing other than dreams But they tell me that all of this will be alright Alright, alright, alright And that's just what we need to get through what seems So never ending and dressed in so many possibilities But I know everything is gonna be alright